All right, guys, so it is finally time to talk about a method that we can use on our rough irons and our sand wedges. This has kind of been going around social media a little bit here and there, but I'm going to show you some replays today. We're going to talk about a method that I want you to go out and use and see how effective it is for you. Leave me a comment below and let me know how this is working out because this is still sort of a brand new method. Going to keep this short and sweet, so let's get right into it. So here's the chart that we're gonna talk about. The first thing we're gonna do, just like the inburner school method, is to stretch our target out to max. Now we're gonna use this method for sand wedges. We're gonna use this for rough irons at any level. So we're gonna stretch our target out to max. We're gonna determine what percentage slider the pen is located at, just like on the inburner school video. We're gonna try to apply little to no spin once we determine our slider percentage. We wanna make our shot as effective as we can. And by doing that, we don't wanna put max top spin on the ball every single time. We don't wanna put a lot of side spin on it. We want a good solid ball guide to the hole. Once we get our ball guide to the hole, we're gonna adjust, and here's the secret. We're gonna adjust minus 30% elevation as a base when the ground is flat. Now, if we get a severely downhill shot, like we would normally play this shot at 10%, we're gonna instead adjust minus 20%. So we're gonna add or subtract from there. If we get an uphill shot, we're gonna go ahead and add minus 40% elevation, but minus 30% is the magic number that we're gonna adjust as a base. And that's gonna come up as our mid number. We're gonna adjust minus 30% with the slider at mid. And then the important part is we gotta hit perfect. Let's take a look at some replays. All right, so here we go. Stretch our target out to max. Get it all the way up there. Try to determine our slider percentage. Here, this one plays uphill, so we're going to go 40% uh, elevation. We're going to put 30% on our slider. So 30% slider minus 40% elevation. We're going to go ahead and spin it just a little bit. Try to get that ball guide going through the hole. Here, we kind of have a glitchy ball guide that we're looking at. So we want to get that ball guide going through the hole make it as as non glitchy as we can here we're going to adjust 1.9 rings so we pull 1.9 and then the important part is remember guys we got to hit perfect we got to hit perfect so we go take our time we get our perfect shot goes down gets in the hole that example was with a sand wedge Take a look at another one here. We've got the Nirvana 8. We stretch our target all the way out to max. We gotta determine our slider percentage. We're gonna play this one at minus 30% elevation. We're gonna go right around 40, 42% slider, judging from where we were at. Again, we're gonna apply as little as spin as possible. We want a good solid ball guide here. There's a really good funnel to the hole. But we've got 7.8 wind. 1.7 rings at minus 30% elevation. So we're going to pull our 1.7. Pull our ball guide back. Again, let me know how this is working out for you guys. We get the perfect shot. Goes down, gets in the hole. Oh yeah. Here we've got our Nirvana again. Nirvana is a great rough iron. We stretch our target all the way out. We're in the rough, we need this drop. We stretch our target out, we're trying to determine what slider percentage we're at. Here we're right around 30% slider. We're gonna play this at minus 30 elevation. Try to apply as little a spin as possible. Little to no spin is okay here, guys. It's kind of been tested a little bit. A little to no spin is okay. If we can get away with going no spin, let's go no spin. We've got 10.4 in wind here. We're gonna pull right at two rings. Minus 30% elevation. We get the perfect. See if we can go get it to drop. 
There we go. Everybody loves it when the rough iron will go in the hole and we get that save. All right, here we've got our Nirvana again. We're going to stretch the target all the way out. Here, the pin's right around 40%. We call that 45%, maybe right at mid. It's going to be close. We got to adjust here, find our slider. Here, we're going to have to put a little bit of backspin on. Make sure we get that ball guide going through the hole. Minus 30% elevation as a base. We're going to adjust 2.2 rings. Make our adjustment. Pull back. Try to hit perfect. Got to hit perfect with the rough iron. Easier said than done. In the hole. Let's go. There we go. So once again, the success of this method is going to come down to you guys. Let me know in the comments how it's going. If you tried it out, if it's working, if it's not working, if it needs to be tweaked a little bit, we can work together to really get this dialed in. We need to be able to make those rough and sand iron shots. If you haven't already, guys, hit that subscribe button for me. We're working our way to 4,000 on the channel. We'll see you guys out on the course.